Hey, what's up Dextools community? The highly anticipated merge is right around the corner, so we're gonna go over what the merge means in the simplest terms, how to prepare for the merge, and then we're gonna touch on Ethos price right after, so let's get right into the video. The biggest news this year, right, is uh, the merge is coming, uh, so, the merge is, uh, so Ethereum switched to proof of stake. This effort that we have been working on for basically the last eight, um, eight years, right? So the first uh, on pr uh, blog post that we wrote about proof of stake was uh, in back in January 2014. That's from the man himself, Vitalik, founder of Ethereum, speaking about the merge in Toronto. Very cool to see him, and I believe the highly anticipated event, the merge, has pushed Ethereum to lead the whole crypto market. So the current Ethereum mainnet will merge with the Beacon Chain proof of stake system. This will mark the end of proof of work for Ethereum and the full transition to proof of stake. This sets the stage for future scaling upgrades, including sharding, and the merge will reduce Ethereum's energy consumption by 99.95%. I also want to add that the merge will not improve transaction speed and gas fees when transacting on the Ethereum network. That will come in the future. But if everything goes smooth, ETH supply may become deflationary. So the merge is estimated to happen September 15th, approximately nine days in five hours. If we look at the ETH supply right here, after the merge, you can see that it becomes deflationary. It starts to get reduced. So ETH will become scarce and maybe we'll see higher prices. So let's get back into the merge and everything you need to know. Throughout Ethereum's history, developers have been working hard to prepare for an eventual transition away from the proof of work to proof of stake. On December 1, 2020, the Beacon Chain was created, which has since existed as a separate blockchain to mainnet running in parallel. The Beacon Chain has not been processing mainnet transactions. Instead, it has been reaching consensus on its own state by agreeing on active validators and their own account balances. After extensive testing, the Beacon Beacon Chain's time to reach consensus on more is rapidly approaching. After the merge, the Beacon Chain will be the consensus engine for all network data, including execution layer transactions and account balances. The merge represents the official switch to using the Beacon Chain as the engine of block production. Mining will no longer be the means of producing valid blocks. Instead, the proof of stake validators assume this role and will be responsible for processing the valid validity of all transactions and proposing blocks. This is from ethereum.org. I'll post the link below. So no more ETH mining and it'll all be done from the means of proof of stake. So what do I need to do to get ready? The merge is one of the most significant and anticipated upgrades in the history of Ethereum. And although in the long term, its impact will be felt by everyone in the near term, some folks will need to take action to be fully prepared. So I'm going to go over what you need to do um, as a user and holder of ETH and make sure to prepare yourself for the merge. So there's a few things right now. First of all, to be safe, make sure that you have your ETH on a hardware wallet. If you don't have it on a hardware wallet or, you know, on a self custody wallet where you have the keys, you may not be credited um, from an exchange or let's say wherever you're holding it. More than likely, major exchanges or wallets will make sure that you're good, but some exchanges will take longer than others to credit you. If they do come out with like a proof of work ETH token and they do like one for one and everybody gets the old token, and then they get credited the new one as well. So to be the safest, in my opinion, you wanna have all of your ETH stored in a self-custody wallet where you own the private keys, you have access to the private keys, and then if you're staking any ETH, if you have any ETH out there that are in pools, that are potentially you know, in smart contracts, you wanna make sure you have a hold of all of that ETH because they may not credit you. So like I mentioned, if you're staking ETH, if you have ETH in pools, if you have wrapped Ethereum, if you have Ethereum locked in smart contracts, you wanna remove all of that and make sure you're holding it so you take advantage of the merge. 
This may be a new, a huge sell the news event. So we're going to take a look at price after. Also, it is extremely important to not fall for any scams. So it is highlighted right here. As we approach the merge Ethereum mainnet, you should be on high alert for scams trying to take advantage of users during this transition. Do not send your ETH anywhere in an attempt to upgrade to ETH2. There is no ETH2 token and there is nothing more you need to do for your funds to remain safe. So do not fall for any scams and um, a lot of people will be coming after your ETH. There will be a lot of sophisticated scams and attempts to take people's ETH. So you are set by just holding it. You don't need to send it anywhere. You don't need to interact with any smart contract. All you need to do is hold it in a safe wallet. If we keep moving forward, the date of the merge as we saw on the timer is approximately September 15th. So in the next 10 days and after the merge, we can expect that the end of proof of work for Ethereum and the start of an era of a more sustainable eco-friendly Ethereum and you can learn more about that at ethereum.org and here are some misconceptions like the merge will reduce gas fees or the transactions will be noticeably faster after the merge um, and you can take a look at all of that as I mentioned there's a lot of more upgrades coming to Ethereum which you can also take a look at so like the Shanghai upgrade the sharding coming in the future and I'll post the link in the description below so you can dive into that let's take a look at price and see where ETH may head right before the merge so we're back on Dex Tools. We're going to take a look at the price of ETH. We're gonna go full screen here. And the price of ETH has exploded, in my opinion, because of the anticipated merge. And then we had the retracement here. The question is, do we put an all time high before or after the merge, or is it going to be a major sell the news event? So. We broke down here and we're trading under the daily 50 moving average. I'm looking for us to break approximately 1620 and retest the prior local high, which was approximately $2,100 here. And you can take a look, it's major resistance. So we have resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, and it's in line with our 200 day moving average as well. Approximately 20, $2,026, 2026. So what I'm looking for is for us to break above this 1620, to break above this moving average and to kind of form some support here and then work our way back up to this local high. We will need to break the moving average on the daily first, the 50 EMA, before we have that attempt. If we can't do so, then I'm thinking that this is a major sell the news event and that we'll get rejected from this moving average and resistance here and potentially work our way back to the 12s and even the 1100 range. Let me know what you think. Do we break local highs above $2,000 before or after the merge or are we headed back to the downside? Post in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next Dex Tools Academy video.